Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Lady blog. Today we're opening this lovely bunch of happy mail. Um, hey, first of all, hello. How are you guys? I'm here on a Wednesday. I have a day off, which is very, very nice. I'm going to pick a tea while I talk. And I'm very, very excited about today because I have been looking at these for a couple of days, couldn't open them. I did open a few, I have to admit, like this little guy. <laughs> I did open a few as like a little reward for myself after a long day of work. But I am now going to open the remaining ones live on camera so grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea let me know in a comment down below if you are watching or crafting along or if you're doing something else or if you're doing homework let me know in a comment down below i would also love to see your creations that were inspired by either my mail or some of these meals um, on instagram you can use the hashtag hashtag the paper letter blog and um, I can see your creations and we can get in touch with each other and I think that would be really, really cool. I have to say that I announced this like hashtag a little while ago and there are already some really, really cool pictures, uh, which is totally awesome. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. Oh, this is a lovely, uh, how do you call this? A lovely loose leaf tea, black tea with rose petals. It's in this cute adorable little paper envelope but i forgot to bring my tea strainer how do you call that upstairs so i cannot actually drink this right now but i did want to say that i think it's such a clever idea to put um loose leaf tea in a um, little paper baggie i'm totally okay with receiving loose leaf tea i know there are a lot of people who do not like receiving loose leaf tea i'm totally okay with that i have a ton of those tea strainers that you can put these in i just don't have one right now the only thing i ask for is that you wrap the tea in a clean bag or you make a little paper baggie that's also totally fine by me but i guess you guys um, can imagine. Okay, so I'm not gonna try this one from Justine. I'm, I will try that next time. I have to bring up one of those little sieves. Um, but I'm gonna try this one from Madeleine. It says, from my Spanish pan pal, I don't drink tea, so I thought you might like it. And it's a vanilla caramel tea. So obviously I'm going to love this. By the way, it's very empty, but I still have a ton more teas to put in here. I just have like all of your mail in a big bag and I have to go through that and sort it out. <laughs> so it's my own fault that it's getting empty. Ooh, that smells really good. So we're gonna try this one uh, and we're gonna open this lovely mail. Okay, once again, forgot to do this. So I'm going to cut and paste this back at the front of the video, but I always tell you in these videos who I have replied to. Now, I uh, filmed another PO Box opening video just a few days ago. So in between those two days, I did not make a whole lot of mail, but I still <laughs> managed to finish um, two PO Box replies, which I think is really, really fun. If you want to know who else I replied to, go watch the previous video and I will tell you all about it. But today I'm going to the mailbox and I'm going to send out a reply to Nikki in Australia and a reply to Annie in the Netherlands. Now I'm also, I also finished a letter to Brittany in Australia, but I still have to make the mail and the envelope and everything. So for now it's just those two that I'm sending out today and I'm hoping to work on a ton more this evening so i'm just gonna put all of this aside and oh yes oops <laughs> okay um this is actually from Bosanel, which is like our meal service and they sent me a letter saying you received mail that had not enough stamps on it so someone didn't put enough stamps on it so and it said we ask you to pay two euros and 61 cents. So I, th I, th I was thinking like, when did I receive mail from the Netherlands that was missing that much money? But actually, this is so stupid. I'm not trying to shame anyone. This is just for like information. But this, this postcard has a December stamp, which is like a Christmas stamp. And they are, I think five cents less in value. So this stamp, basically this, is five cents 
too little. And for those five cents, they sent me a bill for two euros and 61 cents. Are you kidding me? Like it probably, it definitely costs them more to charge me for it than it costs them to just let those five cents go. So, but luckily, don't worry, I don't have to pay this. Um, I've had this before in my home address. If we do not, if like one of my pen pals doesn't pay enough money, doesn't put enough stamps, um, they send you this note and they will send you one reminder but after that you can just ignore it. They never charge you for it. Um, it's basically just, they cannot check if you pay for it or not. So don't worry, I don't have to pay this, I'm just gonna toss it in the bin. But I did wanna tell you that um, I'm not trying to shame anyone, please. Don't feel like I'm trying to shame you because I'm not. I just wanted to say that because I know a lot of people do not know that the December stamps are usually only um, usable in November, December. Okay, so just know that for next time. Don't worry, I don't have to pay anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay, but I just wanted to tell you that because it's kind of ridiculous. Back to the mail. So this can go straight in my paper bin, but I did want to tell you just in case, you know, more people don't know straight in the paper bin. I don't want to show you the back because um, there's a note on here which I'm going to cover up. I think this is from Lucy if I'm uh, reading your name correctly. I think it says Lucy. <laughs> if I have that wrong please do tell me but uh, she wrote me a sweet little note and she even included a little cat mermaid sticker which I think is absolutely adorable and in general I just kind of really love this um, postcard. <laughs> I love I've been at work, I've been uh, learning how to make those like uh, latte art hearts. It's so difficult, but I think this is really, really cute. I'm gonna hang it up on one of my um, Happy Meal spots. I think this is really, really cute. And thank you so much for reaching out to me, Lucy. I do really, really appreciate it. I did already open is this one. This one is from Betty from the USA. She put on a ton of USA Forever stamps, which is kind of cool. They have like the American flag. And at first I didn't understand because I cut it open on this side and I was like, unsure how to open, how to get the mail out. But then I realized the mail itself is actually like a flip book, which is so clever. I've had it once before from Corinna, but I just didn't realize it at first. I think this is a really fun idea. I definitely have to try that out myself. So when you cut open the envelope, you have these two adorable pockets. First of all, I absolutely love this like rose cut out. Oops, where does this come from? Is it from my tea? I don't know. Um, this rose cut out uh, pocket. And then in here is a cute little gift bag for me. There are a ton of those. I don't know how you pronounce that, but they are like the, oh, I'm gonna mess this up so badly. But these are like the Horius girls. I think maybe you're supposed to pronounce it as gorgeous girls. Gorgeous girls. Um, I know a ton of people who collect these and it will be so, so cute to include these in little meals. So she made me a ton of these adorable little girls. And then in this pocket are some more goodies for me. You have such cool dyes. I think these are really, really cool. And her nose is in the back here as well. And she made these little sets. We have this, um, like a, it's like a, a dress. Wow, I lost the word for dress for a second. And they are these matching sets. So we've got a dress on a like, little clothes hanger. And then there are a ton more dyes in here for me, such as little leaves, little flowers. I can see a word. And then the same here as well, little stars. And I think that's so cute like to include two sets with different colors i think i'm definitely going to try and do that myself so that you know <laughs> you have two adorable little gift sets so thank you so much betty for this adorable meal i'm definitely inspired to make some like opening meal myself i have i wonder what i'm supposed to call this let me know in a comment down below how you think i should call this once i do actually make it now I, like I said, I do have to admit, I did already open a ton of mail because I was in charge of the cat cafe for a week and that was really stressful. And I, at the end of the day, I, uh, I bought a ton of presents for myself to kind of reward myself. And what I bought is actually kind of fun and kind of dorky, but I bought these, um, 
Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. If you play Animal Crossing, you can, um, on the 3DS, you can buy these Amiibo cards and then you can scan them and you can, uh, it's basically like an upgrade for your game. <laughs> so I bought these game, these game cards because I've been playing a ton of Animal Crossing. It's so relaxing when you have anxiety and that was kind of my reward for myself. <laughs> I'm, I was also kind of surprised because I did not buy stationery for once, I bought something else. And then the other thing I did to reward myself was open some lovely mail. And then the next one, I also already opened this. I took a little sneak peek. This one is from Michael from Canada. First of all, love the stamp. This is a really cool one. I haven't seen this before. Definitely going in my collection. And then this is a, also a beautiful blue envelope. This is like my favorite color and it's decorated really, really cute. And I have to say, Michael, you're actually the first guy to ever send a letter to my PO box. I think it's so fun to see that not only girls enjoy this lovely hobby, but guys as well. I think we need more guys in this um, community, right? And then inside is this adorable little card. It says, I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> So a little uh, decoration, really, really adorable. And then it's filled with goodies. My camera cut me off. So what I was saying is lovely letter. We have this adorable little uh, paper clip. Like how would you call that again? A ba banner paper clip. Really cute. We've got <laughs> an adorable little washi type sample tag. I really like that kind of minimalistic washi type. We've got a pretty piece of printed paper which is also the same as used on the front and now i think this is also a lot of fun this is like a little how to draw a sad looking doggy <laughs> i cannot draw even if i tried so i need those kind of things i'm gonna see and try if i can i'm gonna try and see if i can make uh, a little doggy in the future and it says hello which i of course always really like so thank you so much for that lovely meal michael i will of course put your letter in the to reply folder and i'm hoping to pick your name in the future now i do also have kind of a question about that or more of a statement i think because the folder is filling up and filling up and filling up and i'm working really really hard on trying to send out as many replies as possible without neglecting my pen pals too much but long story short, I just cannot keep up, no matter how much I want to. And I also want to put a lot of thought and energy and creativity into the replies I make. So I'm not going to turn into some sort of a factory, you know, just making mail um, just for the sake of replying to everyone. So the folder is filling up. It's now month six, which means that we are half a year into 2019 and what I'm currently thinking is maybe I will take out all of the mail from 2018. Eh, I know, it's kind of sad, but I'm thinking that I don't know how many mail from 2018 is still in there. I always number them um, by, you know, I always give them the same number as the video so I can easily check which ones are the oldest, but I am thinking of maybe taking out all of the ones from 2018 i will do some more random draws in that section that i've taken out so that i can hopefully reply to some more of you but i think that mm, it's just getting also a little bit uncertain because um like it's been half a year and people may have moved or people may have moved on or something like that so i think it's best for me to focus on the meal that i received in 2019 instead so my thought is to take out all of the meal from 2018 and then do a couple like random draws in that so i still get to reply to a few more but then take them out for good which is really sad but i just i cannot keep up <laughs> so i hope that's okay with you guys let me know your thoughts and um maybe i can do that once every six months where at the end of this year i will take out all of the mail from this first six months i don't know yet maybe one day the mail will slow down and i will get to reply to a ton more of you but for now if i keep receiving like 10 to 20 meals each month i just cannot keep up so i hope you guys understand as well and now we've got this adorable little meal from christine 
from Christian. It's stamped. Please deliver two, and then these beautiful feathers and cute little washi tape. And I did already open this, but it's wrapped so nicely. I just thought I would leave it in there. Look also at the back of this cute envelope. Really, really pretty. Um, so it's wrapped really nicely, so I thought I would just leave it in there for now. But it says, I hope you like the kitty postcard. I thought you would like the Simply Gilded Washi. Have a wonderful day. That, and her Instagram is at Happy Penguin Planner. I will, if I don't forget, I will mm, uh, link it down below as well. And um, Simply Gilded is a brand that makes really cool washi types. They do all of these like bow designs and um, foiling designs and it's kind of, if I were to order it, it will be very expensive. So I haven't ordered yet, but it's really pretty. So I'm so excited about this. And then we have this adorable little kitty postcard, which is very cute. Did I tell you guys already? Oh my gosh, there's a huge, huge, huge piece of news. Next month, my boyfriend and I are adopting a new cat. Oh my God. <laughs> I will let you know more once I know more. Oh my God, all of these die cuts. But I just wanted to share that, looking at this adorable cat. Oh, we've got a bunch of little owl, owl, owl die cuts. That's hard for me to say. Simply gilded washi. One willow waller. Willow waller. Willow waller. Low. Willow waller low. Am I saying that correctly? The cat's one is a different brand. Wow. See, this is what I mean. Okay, so this, these three are simply gilded. I'm not sponsored, I mean I wish, but look how special they are. Thank you for wanting to share that with me, I'm really excited. I don't even know which one is my favorite. So, and also this cat is also kind of adorable. So thank you, I'm definitely going to put that in my planner. And we've got <laughs> these adorable little stickers. I like how you roll, you're just plain cool. You're just my type and I like you a latte. So adorable. And then we've got this tea chamomile. Mmm, I quite like that. I'm just gonna, I think I'll use this adorable little computer to write your name on. Where is my pen? I don't have a pen. Craft room filled with supplies. Yet I cannot find a pen. How is that even possible? Christine, right? Yes, Christine. Christine. I'm gonna put a heart next to your name. I don't know why. And then I'm just gonna staple that onto the tea. There we go. Into the tea basket you go. All of these adorable little goodies. And of course this little vintage looking Donald Duck envelope. Really, really sweet. Thank you so much, Kristen. I am definitely going to enjoy using this washi type and all of the other goodies you sent me. Got two more amazing packages. I mean, I haven't opened them yet. Okay, I have to admit, I did open this one, but Faith also um, wrapped it so nicely. I thought, okay, fine, I'm gonna do it for a video. <laughs> so every time you guys wrap something nicely, I am forced to leave it closed. Now, this one is from Jeannie from Canada. No, from Australia. Oops, sorry, from Australia. Jeannie from Australia. And there are two things I want to say about this envelope. First of all, the washi type used is absolutely incredible. This is some of the prettiest washi tape I've ever seen. This reminds me a lot of, we have like the new flow book for paper lovers. This design kind of resembles one of the prints in there but I love all of them. The second thing is kind of a request. Once again, I'm not trying to be mean to anyone, but the value, the value is a thing because I'm pretty sure, like it says here that the value is 40 Australian dollars. First of all, oh my God, I cannot believe you would spend that much on someone you don't even know, which is me. I feel very honored and I cannot believe that's like, expensive i feel a little bit guilty a little bit honored um but i actually have a question about that because i'm pretty sure that even if it says gift i um it i they could at customs they could take this out and charge me like import taxes i'm pretty sure so my request to you is um if you can make up something that is below 21 euros because if it's below 21 euros i don't have to pay import taxes but if it's higher than 21 euros 
I might have to pay import taxes. So for now, I didn't have to pay, luckily, but it is quite possible, I think, that they would um, ask me to pay import taxes. So although it is probably worth a lot, lot, lot more, I would like to ask you to um, put it, like, make something up I, I usually when i write like letter and stuff i just put zero euros even though it is worth something but <laughs> it would be kind of sad if i had to pay to receive your package and then on the back here i'm just going to cover this up on the back is some more of that washi tape i tried to peel it off already as you can see because it's so pretty but sadly when i peel it off i damaged the envelope so i just left it there's one more cool thing i think is it this one I don't know, I think it might be this one, that this, um, yeah, this one. It says this padded bag features padding made from recycled paper, which is very cool. I think that's very amazing. So I, again, I already opened this, but when I started taking things out, I only looked at the stickers. Oh, yes, I looked at the stickers, but the things again are wrapped so nicely. I just thought, okay, fine. I'm just gonna leave it in there. Wow, it's, the padding is really cool. And I'm gonna leave it in there and we're gonna open it together, yes. <laughs> so first I did already see the stickers because um, I'm very curious. So she gave me all four of these packs. We've got gold foiled butterflies, which I think is very pretty. We've got silver foiled butterflies, which I think is also very pretty. And then we've got these colorful glittery butterflies. I have a thing for butterflies, you guys know. <laughs> so I'm really happy with these. And then another, another thing she gave me are these crystal stickers, like letter stickers. Which will be so fun for putting on front of flip books. So these little sparkly stickers. So first of all, um, <laughs> I... Oh wait, there's even stickers on the back. Hmm? It says one sheet, but it's actually two sheets. What? Um, so first of all, of course a huge thank you because i feel quite honored but i also want to say that you guys do not need you do not have to buy me packs of stickers i mean it's lovely but i i feel a little bit i feel too spoiled almost so <laughs> please don't feel like you have to buy me anything i'm just happy receiving mail from you and i um i don't know i'm I'm so blessed already and I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say but basically you do not have to buy me anything I mean I'm so lucky to receive mail from you guys I'm lucky to receive your letter I'm lucky to receive goodies I'm lucky to receive the love you guys send my way and although I love receiving stickers I hope you guys know that it's not necessary at all and then we've got a few more packages left First, we've got this. I can see Winnie the Pooh. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that is so sweet. She will love that. I cannot believe this. It actually says for Vivian's mom. I'm just gonna open it. I don't even, like, I know it's for her. I will wrap it again. Don't worry. But I always say, like, I've said this a dozen times, but my mom's, like, her birth name is actually Winnie. Like, she calls herself Wendy now, but her birth name is actually Winnie. So, oh, she loves Winnie the Pooh. That's so cute. So we've got these little letter, oh, we've got, this is like a little red letter writing paper. Oh my God, that's actually really cute. It's like a card slash letter writing paper with envelopes. That is so cute. She will love that. And Winnie the Pooh. And then we've got these stickers as well. <laughs> That's really adorable. I think she will be, she will feel so, oh, sorry, the, the neighbor's dogs. I think she will feel so honored that you thought of her. That's really cute. I don't know if she uses stickers, but I'm definitely going to give her some because she has one of those really basic agendas. Maybe she can uh, make it look a little bit cuter with some Winnie the Pooh stickers. Just gonna wrap that up again. I will send that to her or give it to her when I see her in real life. Also, oh my God, did I forget one? <gasps> she gave me two of the crystal stickers. Oh my gosh, these are really cute. I have so many letter stickers, they're like my obsession, but they're really cute to use. And then we've got two more packages. 
Oh, this one says for Vivian. And then this one, I guess, as well. Hmm. I wonder what's in there. This baggie is also really, really cute. Okay. Let me make some space. Which one first? This one. That one. Oops, I don't know. This washi type. I love it. Okay, fine. I'm gonna open this one first. Yeah, it's a little gift bag. Mm hmm? Oh, is that what I think it is? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We've got these two, first of all. Home spa. We've got these little roses. Let me see. Yay! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. These are bath. I don't know how to pronounce this, but bath fizz. Bath fizz. Bath fizz. So it's like a bath bomb, but with a fizzling effect that's really cool put in put it into the mm. that's so fun so it's for like my relaxing bath time we've got two bath fizz bath bombs <laughs> i'm saying saying that in such a weird way but okay that's really cool thank you so much genie i'm really going to enjoy some relaxing bath time that's like my go-to self-care i <laughs> want to enjoy a nice and long bath so i cannot wait to try them that's really exciting <laughs> i'm like a little kid whenever there's bubbles in the bath i like it so much more and then some more of this beautiful washi tape let me see i think i can also reuse these gift bags because they're still um, like the sticky part is still untouched. Okay, I think this might be your letter. Open me. Careful now. Yeah, this definitely looks like a letter. Ooh. Oh my god, I, I, I really want like, okay, I will read your letter afterwards, but I immediately get drawn in. And one thing she wrote that felt so sweet is how uh, to her it feels like I am like a lovely chatty neighbor like a lovely girl next door and I really like that I really like that I feel like a neighbor or, or someone you know um, oh that tea is really good but yeah I really like that like I don't want to feel like someone you only know from the internet I kind of like the idea of being relatable and Oh, that's so sweet. So I'm going to read that lovely letter afterwards. My favorite part. And oh, this actually looks like a tag flip. Oh, I can see a little shell there. Oh, look at that. Whoops. Uh oh. <laughs> I, oh my God, more tape examples. I love it already. Okay, I'm just going pocket per pocket. So she made this adorable tag flip. I also want to do that now. And we've got a bunch of stickers, a bunch of stickers, first of all, oh, little cupcakes, a bunch of stickers, Vivian Fergus, a little Project Life card, I always love these, I actually think this collection, I've received a few papers from this same collection, if someone can tell me what it is, I received papers from this collection from one of my pen pals, Ellen, for my birthday, it's so pretty, I actually keep it, and I don't want to use it, I might actually hang this up, where the heart is so pretty i really like that it's like completely me with okay i was like talking and talking and talking and my camera's battery decided it was enough but i was saying that this project life card is from a collection that i absolutely love i don't know the name if anyone knows the name i would be very happy <laughs> to know um, because for my birthday i received a couple of papers from the same collection from my pen pal ellen and i also received a few of those puffy stickers no not puffy chipboard stickers in a swap wait let me grab them they're so pretty i actually i don't think i have used not one of them because they're so pretty but look this is like the same collection i don't know what it's called but it's so cute see i'm pretty sure that is the same you and me and then it has like these adorable little leaf watercolor doodles if someone can tell me what this is called please because <laughs> i might have to get myself some more i probably do not need more definitely do not need more but it's pretty so i want to have it 
does anyone else do that this is a project that i was working on back in the old house i had no idea how to continue i had no idea i didn't like it that much i wasn't sure how to go forward from here so i just put it in a sleeve and put it aside until i have more inspiration and then oh i didn't even realize but there's like an adorable little butterfly charm at the top and then whoops on the back we even have even more goodies in this adorable little pocket oh we've got some cute little little loose stickers and we've got some die cuts i have a thing for die cuts probably the thing i spend most of my money on is die cuts these summery die cuts summer breeze and happy summer and then we've got this one wait i'm going upside down this one another adorable little uh pocket i also really like this washi tape by the way i think someone gave me a sample of that and we've got oh little heli hel heli kitty <laughs> hello kitty pouch with as i can see some cat stickers in there that's so adorable i'm definitely reusing that hello or hi i'm hello kitty and there's oh another one oh you have different ones there's some more of those tiny uh, summery die cuts in there. Love that. This is so fun. All of these pockets I feel completely spoiled. And then another really beautiful like vellum pocket with a tag in it. Life is better with friends. Oh, that's really true. And she made she also made the background with like I don't know tissue paper I think. And then we have another one. I think this is where the washi tape samples were but I like they fell out so we've got these adorable washi tape samples this one with the potted plants how cute it even has a little bit of gold foiling love that this one with the watercolor flowers really really pretty and the butterflies also really neat and this one with some more watercolor flowers this one in the middle was so pretty and we've got I don't know what is this but we've got another design. Usually, I have to admit, usually when I get washi tape samples, I will cut off the ones that I'm going to use and I will put the ones that I'm not going to use into a little basket. I'm filling up a basket with washi tape samples because I receive so many, I never use all of them. I thought I would do a giveaway, but I might actually have to keep all of these <laughs> because they are all really, really cute. Especially these two uh, flags, really cute. Genie, I am so lucky. And then this last pocket, I am so curious about this little shell. She put it on like a little piece of cardstock, which is so clever. It's a little, is this like an actual shell or is this one of those decoration shells that you can buy? I think it might be a real shell. That is so cool. That's so cool. I've always been fascinated by shells, like, I'm not saying that so that you can all send me shells. I don't think I would have use for them, but I just want to tell this little story of when I was a kid, I would always pick up shells at the beach and I would always, you know, like the usual thing kids do at the beach, pick up all of these shells and find the prettiest ones. And sometimes when I'm on the holiday, I will still bring one or two shells home with me. I actually had one of those little stones I think it used to be part of a shell, but it broke off. It was a little stone that I found on the beach when my boyfriend and I were in Malaga. And it looks a little bit like a croissant. I'm not actually kidding. It looked like a croissant and I carried it around in my wallet until it broke. <laughs> and then oh, all of these pretty quote stickers. Wow, so many. Ah, hugs were invented to let people know you love them without having to say anything. That's really cute. All of these cord stickers. What a fun little happy meal. I cannot wait to read that letter of yours. And a massive thank you for all of these incredible goodies. I'm definitely going to tell my mom. I, it's always kind of crazy whenever I do these um, PO Box mail openings. My entire craft room is filled with gifts I have received. You guys have no idea how weird slash good that feels like it's surreal to receive all these pretty things in the mail just because i'm me just because i make these videos i don't know it's a good weird but still a weird so then we have this lovely letter from faith she also has a youtube channel it's called faithful mess she has a po box but i still covered up her address because i wasn't sure 
I think I'm pretty sure her address is on her YouTube channel. So if you want to send her something, go check out her channel because she's really amazing. And she does like coloring videos. And I'm looking if this is something she colored in herself. No, I think this was just a cutout. But wow, she does the most amazing things on her channel. Um, including live streams, which I think is really fun. So first things first, just like last time, because she has it sent to me mail before, just like last time, she included all of these incredible stamps. This is my favorite. It says The Art of Magic. That's really cool. Definitely keeping those. So yeah, I wanted to open this and then I saw that it like, it's like the mail itself is already kind of, oh, uh oh, is already kind of incredible. So I thought, okay, fine, I'm gonna leave it closed so that I do not ruin anything. Oh, that's why. <laughs> she included included a lot of this like crinkle, I don't know how you call this, crinkle paper? Crinkle paper, oh, oh. Oh no, how am I gonna get this off? It's sticking to me. Send help. Okay, I think this is actually one giant flip book. Okay, so this is really pretty. So first things first, washi type sample. Love it. I think this one says happy, 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 which is really adorable. I like all of these. This one also. She sent me an amazing tea, white tea, blueberry, acai. It's acai, right? Not as acai. I think it's acai. I'm just going to... I think I can write your name on the washi type. I'm pretty sure. Right, Faith. Yeah, I can write on this. Faith. Heart. Faithful mess. There we go. I'm gonna put it in the tea basket. And then, ooh, what is this? Hmm? What is this? It looks... Wait, is that like for nails? Is this for nails? Or am I completely spacing? I don't actually know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, that doesn't make sense. Shoot, Faith, please tell me what this is. Or is it just sticky tabs? I don't know. Please, someone explain to me what this is. It would make sense if there were 10 that it would be for nails, but mm, I'm not actually sure. It might be in the letter, but uh, please let me know if I got it wrong. And then we've got a bunch of these little tags, which I absolutely love. It's almost like she looked on my uh, swap bot profile. <laughs> I love little tags. And then we've got a, a cactus paper clip. I absolutely love that. Cactus paper clip. We've got, ooh. Oh, she, uh, what do you call this? She marked some things for me to read. Crystals. Hmm, I think she wants me to read this because it's like circled. I'm gonna read that afterwards. And then some more beautiful clip outs. Wow. It's like furry cacti, really cool. Some magazine clip outs. Some, whoop. Her. <laughs> some more magazine clip outs this beautiful flower and some more when you pull oh my god my mom is gonna be so happy is this from a book oh my gosh gold is a shiny yellowish <laughs> oh my god that's really cute i'm gonna send that to my mom again like also in her last mail she made the envelope completely out of winnie the pool paper for my mom which is so sweet Okay, wait, I don't want to ruin this, but I don't know. And then we've got this adorable tag that says XRXR. Whoa. Ooh, love this paper. So she has like a bunch of paper hearts for me. Very pretty. Love that little ombre look. And then this cute tag that says XRXRXR. And then, wait. We've got another pocket here with beautiful vintage um, butterfly paper. We've got some sparkly hearts, really cute. Sparkly heart stickers. We've got her note. Okay, I'm gonna read that afterwards. I think I got everything then. Oh no, the paper clip fell in. Yeah. Oh no, the paper clip fell in. Okay, the paper clip is in there now. <laughs> this is such a beautiful pocket. I definitely wanna try and save that somehow. And then also the back is decorated with beautiful paper and it says hello 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 and then with this what is this called lace some sort of a lace definitely going to try and save that how cute 
So I'm very inspired because Faith did the same. She made like the 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 the, the mail was how do I say this? The mail was part of the envelope, or the envelope was part of the mail, vice versa. I think that's really cool. Definitely going to do that. So that actually concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely did. I got to open a ton more mail. I enjoyed my tea as well. Vanilla caramel is always a good idea. I'm definitely going to um, make a bunch more mail inspired by all of you. I am going to drink a lot more tea. I don't know what else to say. Thank you so much for watching, for sending me things, for being there, for commenting, for tagging me it doesn't matter thank you so much for everything you guys it really means the world to me and i hope you have an amazing day i hope i don't know have a great day and i will see you what am i talking about i hope you have a great day i hope you are subscribed to my channel you should subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these videos i don't just open meal i also make meal myself and i open um like these little mystery packages it's all a lot of fun we have a lot of fun here we drink a lot of tea so feel free to join us if you like also you can hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to watch my new videos now i'll talk to you soon Bye-bye.